Every day we see a bright ball of fire rise up in the sky from the east and set in the west. Some call it Surya, some call it Ra or Tayo and you know it as the sun. Some people worship it and that hot spherical thing in the sky is basically one of the reasons why you're alive today. But once in a while this fireball is blocked by some mysterious dark circle for few minutes. This phenomena scares the hell out of the animals and is called as the solar eclipse. The word eclipse is derived from the ancient Greek word eclipsis which means darkening of heavenly bodies. The solar eclipse simply means the darkening of the sun by the moon. We all know that the earth revolves around the sun and the moon around the earth in their respective orbits as shown. But at some point of their revolution all these three bodies align themselves in a straight line with moon in between hence it blocks the sunlight from reaching to the earth but the size of the moon is 400 times smaller than the size of the sun which means the moon blocking the sun should look something like this but practically the sun is also 400 times farther away than the moon is from the earth hence the moon seems to be approximately at the same size that of the sun from the earth which makes it look something like this talking about distances the orbit of the moon around the earth as well as the orbit of the earth around the sun are elliptical and not circular hence the distance of the moon from the earth does not remain constant in fact it has been proven that the orbit of the moon is expanding by 38 mm every year as it gains more energy by tidal friction so depending on the distance of the moon from the earth when the solar eclipse takes place the moon will either obstruct the sunlight totally or partially as shown Now when the moon covers the sun it projects two types of shadows namely umbra or full shadow and penumbra or half shadow the region covered by penumbra experiences partial solar eclipse as the guy standing in this region doesn't see the moon covering the sun completely also the penumbra has a diverging range and hence has more coverage area on the earth's surface Talking about full shadow region or the umbra it is the region of total darkness where total solar eclipse is experienced it has a converging range and most of the time it simply vanishes before even reaching on the earth's surface because the distance between the moon and the earth is larger than required moreover its coverage area is very small as compared to the penumbra because of its converging nature so partial solar eclipse is a frequent phenomena and happens couple of times in one year but the total solar eclipse is a big deal because for a person to experience it he has to wait for a solar eclipse to clash with the new moon day also when the distance between the moon and the earth is sufficiently small to decrease the probability even more the moon must cast its umbra on land which only covers about 38% of earth's surface therefore the total solar eclipse happening on a land is the rarest of the rare phenomena which is exactly what is about to happen for the first time in united states on 21st of August 2017 with the visibility range spreading from Oregon to South Carolina here's a fact it takes about 375 years for a total solar eclipse to happen again in a specific location and lasts for about few seconds to 7 minutes so to all the people in the US it's a once in a lifetime thing the spectacular view of the total solar eclipse is truly magnificent so if possible make sure not to miss this beautiful phenomena if you liked our video please subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching